Scotland. Its winding hills have kept a tradition going from generation to generation. The art and the science of whisky making. In the last episode, we followed the distillation process, which transforms a wash, which is fermented liquid coming from a washback, into a clear, alcoholic liquid. This is From Cask to Bottle, Episode 6. Hi, I'm Colin Hamden White, and in this episode, we're going to follow the maturation process. However, there is still something missing that iconic honey coloured whiskey appearance. This is added during the maturation stage, where we encounter a familiar sight casks. The transparent liquid is loaded into locally produced casks, where it will stay to mature for at least three years and one day before being bottled for consumption. We don't use any barrel, we use casks. Um, a barrel to us is a size and a shape. So a barrel to us is 180 litres, a hogshead is 250 litres, and a sherry butt is 500 litres. Surrounding me here, we have sherry hogsheads, and um, further down the line, you do have some sherry butts as well. Um, all our casks that we're using for Glenfarclas is all our also sherry casks that have come from Spain. And people say that, yes, you can have bottle ageing, but how can you confirm this? How can you check this? You can't. Um, you know, unle unless you have a bottle that's been put into stainless steel or put into other um, vessels that you can actually check it against. You can't compare whiskey today versus whiskey that was made 50, 60 years ago. Because whiskey that was made 50, 60 years ago, it was different barley, it was different yeast, um, it was different water. Um, so even if it had been made at the same distillery, there's so many different um, things that have changed. Some of the highest quality whiskies will be matured in these casks for anywhere from between 12 and 25 years, and sometimes even longer. Optimum age. Um, everybody's different. I mean, when I first started drinking whiskey, I loved whiskey at 21 years old. Um, my daily dram now would be a 15 year old, but then I also enjoy drinking whiskey that's 40, 50, 60 years old. Um, you know, the great thing about whiskey is you can enjoy a dram at any time or day. Um, in the evening, even in early morning, you can enjoy you know, a nice, fresh, fruity whiskey. Um, whiskey can be drunk at any time, at any age. Whilst the whiskey is being matured for these long, long years, a certain amount of the alcohol is lost. This is lost to evaporation and is called the angel's share. Well, we try and shoot as many of the angels as possible so we don't lose as much as, as most. Um, the, the, we lose roughly 2% a year. The government lets us lose 2% a year. Thankfully, where we are situated at Glenfarclas, we're about 250 metres above sea level. Um, we don't lose quite as much as 2%. Um, but in the casks themselves, sometimes you will lose volume, sometimes you will lose alcohol strength. But at Glenfarclas, we have a nice happy medium, which means we can age whiskey 40, 50, 60 years plus. Of course, this is the final stage in which the whisky will take on the quality of its surroundings. The charred oak casks that mature the whisky are critical to adding colour and flavour to the scotch. At the end of the day, all the measuring instruments available can't replace the acumen of a seasonal professional taster and whisky maker. In the next episode, we will look at how whisky tastes and discover how these different flavours are created by the distillation process at the distillery and also the maturation process in the casks. Follow us from cask to bottle as we discover the secrets of whisky making.